we're going to go ahead and get started. It is 6 o'clock. I think that's A.V. coming there. So we're going to start. We'll start with our pledge, and Commissioner Patton, if you'll do our prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord and our Father in heaven, so thankful for this day and the blessings of it, everything well with us as it is. We ask your blessings upon us this night as we enter this meeting, that we will do so with tenderness of, tenderness of heart to do the best thing for the citizens of Beaver Dam and always be mindful that we are servants of yours and we serve you first and then only in this world. Go with us, God, guide, and direct us in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody out tonight. Looks like it's a fairly light agenda, so maybe we won't be here too long. But first item is approval of minutes. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. Move to pay all bills. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. We have nothing under old business. So moving on down under new business, the first item is a resolution 2021-01. That is a resolution we're following in lines with Kentucky League of Cities where they've developed this Kentucky, uh, September is city government month. And uh, they've sent a packet of stuff we've sent out to the elementary school to do some teaching about city government and how it works and the difference between commission and council and all that good kind of stuff. So I told them we would put that up for consideration. So we just need to, res uh, need to make a vote to where it's Yeah, it's, it's in your September. packet. I know we're going to make September City Government Month. Yes. I'll make a motion we make September City Government Month in the City of Beaverdam. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the 2022 Motor Vehicle and Watercraft Property Tax Rate. I assume this was in everybody's packet maybe but what it is is it's 24.1 cents per hundred dollars of assessed value and according to Amy this is one that they send down from Frankfurt telling us what ours is going to be we just have to officially approve it I make motion we approve the 2022 motor vehicle water vehicle property tax right second have a motion and second any further discussion those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is a board appointment for the Beaverdam Housing Authority. And at this time, <coughs> I'd like to put a Kelly Reisinger <coughs> to serve on that committee on City of Beaverdam's behalf. So moved. Second. We have a motion and seconding further discussion. Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Jim, do you have anything? No. Uh, <coughs> Danny had talked to me about we he would like to get another person on that to oh I can't think of everything think of the name of that board, Danny Overton's on. He's on the uh, I'm not sure which one. Planning and zone. Planning zone. Planning and zone. Oh, if it, no, he's not on planning and zone. He's not it's, it's, it's the other one. Code enforcement? No, yeah, it's no. the where you do they the do the waivers and variances. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's, he would like to have another person from Beaver Dam. Does they he have any one in mind? With two from Beaver Dam, and they'd like to have this other person. <coughs> Does he have anyone in mind? Or? No, he's not had much luck in trying to find <laughs> anybody, so he, I, he mentioned it to me to mention it to you. Okay, we'll go to work on it and see what we can find. That's it. That's it for me. Charles? No, uh, Stephen might want to update today. We got the, what kind of grant book? We got the laundry set? Yeah, about two years ago, we got a no match grant to the Kentucky Fire Commission for an extractor. It's a long story short, heavy duty washing machine, pulls carcinogens and everything out of the gear back than what a regular washing machine does. Um, they didn't tell us until about two weeks ago we was awarded it, and they have installed it last week. We're just waiting on the final hookups on it. 
they said the value on that machine right there is assessed at about fifteen thousand dollars before we install. Now the no match grant, so pretty good. Yeah, the closest put, one to us is Holmesboro has one, and then Brownsville is the next closest. You put you put that on the internet, didn't you? I saw a picture of it. I thought, yeah. And the uh, oh, the truck down, but it should be here Friday to fix it. Yeah, the engine twenty three is down, but Timmy said he'll be here Friday. Okay, that's on that. I, I know of. Week, so. Kevin? Pickleball people are getting happier and happier every day. And I'm very happy they're not bugging me as much anymore. Uh, but it is looking good that the pickleball courts are going to get put, put together probably by mid-September, maybe, if we're lucky. And then the other thing is, is uh, and I don't know how to, how to put this right. And I, maybe I should talk to you about that in closed session about that, what we, we were talking about in there about the amphitheater. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I will talk about it in closed session. Then, then we may do something about it. <coughs> the pickle balls of right now, are they, Scotty, scheduled to be in with paving the end of August? 23rd is when, first is the first week they gave us was the 23rd. We get a 23rd. <coughs> Have we already contacted the people in Louisville? Yes, to I contacted get them, them today too. Booked and you have to ready. wait two weeks for the asphalt to cure after it's paved, and then it takes them about four days to do all the other stuff. So with three week, it's called a three week turnaround. So from the time they start to the time they're done, it's three weeks. That's what they take, that's what they say. So that's nets, everything, striping it, painting it, all that. How late will they play in the season? Year round. They'll play in January. It's warm enough. I went and saw them in February over in, at York Park in Owensboro outside. They were playing out there in sweatpants, just going crazy. <laughs> okay. And th they will. We will have to discuss whether they should get a club or not. Like they have a little league. You know, we have the little <coughs> league foundation and all that. Where they need a club to where they they basically take care of their own stuff, and we just kind of. Maintain it. They do all the that stuff. Would be to their benefit. Yeah, it'd be to their benefit. That's why I told Mike and them that I thought it would be to their benefit to do that. That's it. Okay. Cindy? Um, with that being said, will the basketball courts be resurfaced too? With they're, they're, we talked about sealing them, didn't we? I don't know about resurfacing them. But or sealing it. I think the only discussion we was having is if. Adam Allen was going to do it. He was going to reseal it with a leftover. With material. leftover. Yeah. Well, they might have leftover with this, too, though. They find that, yeah. yeah. And they were telling, like, three, about three weeks ago, I, I went out there and I pulled the trash out of the pickleball and it's still been sitting there. Like, I mean, I, I, I try to reach out to, to <coughs> you guys to look, because I usually do that with Paul whenever I had trash from something over there. But it's, it's still sitting there. Yeah. Where's Larry take care of it? Where's it at? Thank you. Thank where you, where you put it at, sir? Where is it? By the electrical pipe, <coughs> by the pickleball cord. Well, this, we make sure the guys look for it from now on. I just thought I'd bring that up. And is there any way that I can get access to trash bags? I mean, I've been purchasing them. It's fine to be able to put in those sometimes as we go by and pick up the trash and put them in the cans. Do we keep a guy those, Larry? Uh, or come by here, I can swing by here. I'll check and see. We should have them. Do what? Got a delivery today. Church bags. Probably could just pick them up here. Okay, just as I Not go up there, try to stop by here. Uh, yeah. We can um, find a place to keep them there. And the Ashley Crump has been good about dragging the field, but I hate to ask him every time. I know some of the softball players are asking when's it going to get. Again. So I don't know what to say to him because I don't have access to any equipment. Uh, first, I've heard anything about dragging the field. So. Uh, as far as I remember, too, is softball, softball using the field? Yeah, and they're practicing like Who's? every Thursday night after he's football and he's football is on it. Oh, I, don't, I forgot what you're talking about now. Yeah. What's, no, what softball's using? What softball's using? Um, <laughs> we got some more. Nathan. Quady and Mary Miller, Megan oh, Miller. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't, I don't know of any league that's using it, but they're coming out and practicing on it like three nights a week. And I haven't seen them playing games, but they like to practice on that field right after youth football on Tuesdays and Thursdays. <coughs> okay. Um, this came off the cover again. We just found it today off the basketball. Uh, <coughs> Is that a new one? I don't know what it was, but it was on the ground. Somebody tried to fly it off with a. That's a brand new one. Just put on in the last week. The Is that on the lights? lights? Is that what that's on? Yeah, the lever on the basketball court. Now it's wide open. Yeah, on the basketball court. Why do they do that? It's wide open again. Yeah, they, so think, I don't they think there's access. They get in. There's access to lights 24 7. This is an issue we, we've had the last 25 years over there. Yeah, I hate it. You know, I mean, we, we have built, Dudley have built metal boxes so we put padlocks on them. They them off. Yeah. They, they think if they get in, they can have access. Maybe we should put a sign up there that says these lights go on and off automatically. Do not try and tear this box. How high is that off the ground? Can you put it up the high? Thing? It's, it's, not, it's not very high off the ground, is it? No. Yeah. I mean, I can just Then you might put, put, get your lift truck over and put it up higher. Put that timer way up. But then they'll climb the pole and fall and we're still in trouble. I mean, there's no. Climb at your own risk. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's responsible is, for anything they do. It's always somebody else's fault. Yeah. Okay, because I know the lever, you can still turn it off and on. Yeah. On its own. So. Um, someone was asking about the handicap swing. If we had. Did, we, did Amy, you get that order? We, yeah, no. we called Amy, but Amy uh, was talking about that with me the other day. Yes, we, we called, but now the money for the swing and the money that was turned in, there's not enough money to pay for, so we're going to make up the difference out of the city. And the bathrooms. Ongoing it's sad problem. because even the youth football that are out there with like, let's say, 100 kids and the adults, they're going in and out there, adults and kids. And now there's porta potties. And even when the porta potties were there, uh, it's quicker, I guess, for some adults and kids to go straight in those bathrooms and they're doing their number. One and two. And there's no water. No, no. even though there's no porta water. potties over there take now. The, take them all out. Just take all the fixtures out. Yeah, that's one thing we talked about that city. was going to be a while down the line getting that done because that those are expensive. To, I would just like to lock the doors up to so put nobody gets bed. hurt on the inside. You know why aren't they locked? They break the door they down. The they bust they them open. They the hasp off of them. Yeah. See, that's why there wasn't much going on at Odom Park. Yeah. And I'm. And I'm talking, I hate to say that, but yeah. I don't know what to do about it. Right. I tried to wrap the yellow tape around the caution tape, but you know that that's just yeah. plastic. You know, but that's it. Mike. We're good. How's the seven officers working out? Good. Good. Y'all getting rest, relaxing a little bit. <laughs> it gives us good. It gives us a good chance for. Maybe you have anything? We're fixing going to a closed session. I do know that. So. Yeah, that's. Okay, that's. <laughs> I'm almost worried. Here. Look, that looks really serious. Larry, do you have anything? Not too much closed session. Georgia, do you have anything? We need to introduce Georgia. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't do that. Our new city clerk. Welcome. Thank you. Maybe Georgia from Arkansas. Since it's only her second meeting she's ever been to. It's Georgia from Arkansas. In Alabama. Uh, he's not even going to ask why. That's just what I started playing on television. Georgia from Arkansas. Well, I got a little nervous when Lisa came from moral support. I'm like, are we that bad? <laughs> <laughs> has it been bad? It hasn't been bad, has it? Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, we'll entertain a motion to go into closed session. Closed session. Thanks, Sandy. I'll go. I'll try to get down. All the public
See how we work. We are ready to work. Yes, sir. War <laughs> us out. I'm taking nowhere. We'll give you two a new phrase. It's called recreational life. <laughs> Okay, we're back in open session. We do need the one motion as far as the. How do you phrase that? Oh. Did you write that? No. I'll read it if you wrote it. Yeah, down. I don't care to read it either. One of it will. No, we're going to do it. All employees that were employed yeah. full time in okay. 2020 that are currently. Okay. All employees, we want to make a motion that all employees that were employed in 2020 and are still employed by us now. Full time. Full time, we'll get a thousand dollar bonus. Are we calling it a bonus? Part of the CARES, uh, the, the CARES Kentucky, program. I mean, uh, not Kentucky, uh, National Rescue Funds. And anybody that, that they get the thousand dollar rescue funds, and anybody that is employed since then, since is January, employed us, the January us now, 1. Since January 1, will receive two hundred dollar bonus or CARES fund for their, for their service. Second. For COVID. For COVID. Yeah, this is it's for COVID. It's a COVID uh, program. And we may work on the wording of that a little bit. We have a motion and a second. Does everybody understand what? Do you understand what we're doing? Okay. Well, actually, I might, it, my brother it, might be contacting me for the exact wording. <laughs> anyway, I think we get it. The exact wording wasn't right by me. I can tell you that right now. So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Uh, Post same. Motion passes. And that will be on the next yeah. paycheck. Uh, should be a separate, pay, should be a separate check. Paycheck well, it'd be on a separate probably, yeah. but it'd be coming up in August. Correct. I expect a 10% cut of everybody's. Hey, just remember who brought it up. I don't care. <laughs> oh, don't believe them. <laughs> Any other business? Motion to adjourn. Thank you.